What's the story of seven times ten? When Ram Seven meets the potion Magic Ten, it makes her very, very hungry. She dives headfirst into the cauldron and comes out feeling very full. She gives an enormous magic burp and blows a bubble in the shape of a zero. Seven times ten is seventy. What's the story of seven times nine? It's tea time. Mummy Ram Seven comes to give a cup of tea to her friend Slimy Nine. But she trips and breaks her teapot. Hearing the noise, Slimy Nine appears and goes to search in his burrow. He comes back with a very dusty teapot. He gives it a rub to make it clean. But what a surprise! It isn't a teapot, it's an old magic lamp in the shape of a six. And from it springs a genie in the shape of a three. Seven times nine is sixty-three. What's the story of eight times ten? When Spooky Eight meets the potion Magi Ten, it makes him very, very hungry. He dives headfirst into the cauldron and comes out feeling very full. He gives an enormous magic burp and blows a bubble in the shape of a zero. Eight times ten is eighty. What's the story of eight times nine? When Spooky Eight the ghost sees Slimy Nine, he rushes to give him a fright. Slimy Nine jumps and bumps into a set of armor in the shape of a seven, which loses an arm in the shape of a two. Eight times nine is 72. What's the story of seven times seven? It's the new year. Granny Ram Seven and Grandpa Ram Seven are having a party. Grandpa wants to play a trick on Granny. He blows his party trumpet right in her ear. Granny Ram Seven is so surprised, she loses her hat in the shape of a four. She angrily seizes Grandpa's toy, which is in the shape of a nine and gets rid of it once and for all. Come on, the party's over. Time for bed. Seven times seven is 49. Remember my trick. You only have to memorise the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of six times seven? When Scorpy Six meets the Mummy Ram Seven, he pulls on her bandages with his stinging tail and changes the poor mummy into a spinning top. Very pleased with the trick he has just played, he laughs very loudly. Then, seeing a beautiful cactus in the shape of a four, Scorpy Six throws the bandages onto it. They stick on in the shape of a two. Six times seven is 42. What's the story of eight times eight? Daddy Spooky Eight and Little Spooky Eight love playing football. Daddy Spooky Eight encourages Little Spooky Eight who kicks his ball and... 
Whoops. The ball and chain land in the shape of a six, right on Mummy's beautiful vase, which smashes in the shape of a four. Oh, shackles. Eight times eight is sixty-four. Remember my trick. You only have to memorise the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of seven times eight? The mummy ram seven wants to catch a beautiful ibis with her net. But Spooky Eight the ghost arrives and frightens both the mummy and the bird. The net lands on the ghost's head and the ibis flies down in the shape of a five. Spooky Eight takes off the net, which is in the shape of a six, and throws it away. The mummy is furious that her hunting expedition has been spoiled. Seven times eight is fifty-six. Remember my trick. You only have to memorise the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of one times eight? Mrs Wonderwand can't help playing tricks on her friends. <laughs> when she comes across Mr Spooky Eight, she casts a spell and changes him into Spooky Eight Clown. One times eight is eight. Remember my trick. You only have to memorise the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of two times eight? When two squeaks is surprised by the wailing of Spooky Eight the ghost, she gives a little shriek. This wakes up a cat who was sleeping in a dustbin. When she sees the cat, she yells even louder. The ghost has found someone scarier than him. The dustbin and its lid make a one. The cat and its tail make a six. Two times eight is sixteen. Remember my trick. You only have to memorise the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of one times seven? Mrs Wonderwand can't help playing tricks on her friends. <laughs> when she comes across Mrs Ram Seven, she casts a spell and changes her into Ram Seven Clown. One times seven is seven. <laughs> Remember my trick. You only have to memorise the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of two times seven? Great, it's Christmas. Two sweets in round seven decide to give each other a present. <laughs> Two squeaks, judging by the lovely smell, <laughs> thinks her present is a cheese. She loves cheese. Mm. Ram Seven would like to get a sock. Hers are all so old. They both open their presents, but Two squeaks has got a sock in the shape of a one. She is so disappointed, she throws it away. As for Ram Seven, she finds an old piece of cheese in the shape of a four. She throws it away too. A very merry Christmas. Two times seven is fourteen. Remember my trick. 
You only have to memorise the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of five times seven? Mr Flaming Five is invited to the mummy Ram Seven's birthday party. As usual, he always wants to light the candles. Very proudly, he takes a deep breath and blows such a big flame that it burns everything in its way. The mummy, the cake, and even Mrs. Flaming Five's horns, which are in the shape of a three. She is so angry, she shows them to her husband. Five times seven is 35.